Apple of all dwellers, it's Angry Turtle. And I just discovered that I can actually buy Limer Fuel from Ammo Converter. And I was pretty sure it's not possible. I'm probably not the first one to discover that, but I still decided to share it because I didn't, uh, didn't saw anyone talking about this before. And if you click on this video just to see how to buy it, I'm just going into it. Then go into your ammo converter machine. If continue, uh, spend ammo points to buy new ammo. And go under energy ammo. And here, look at that. At the bottom we have for 100 points, 20 10 millimeter. And since when 10 millimeter is energy ammo? It never was. Then I figure out, let's check what happened if I buy one. I click on that and look in the corner. Fuel 20 added. And you can buy fuel. And conversion rate for fuel is actually really good compared to what we need in order to craft it. If you click just to see it, that's it. And if you want to stay, you know that Tartar likes to talk, then I have something else to say. Because the cost for this energy ammo is just 100 points, then it's not bad. And you're getting 20 fuel for 100 points. Compared to buying anything else, it's a really good price. And if you do not know yet how to deal with this uh, tapping, uh, clicking uh, simulator, I feel a little bit like playing Tap Titans, but just on my PC instead of mobile <laughs> when, when buying this ammo. But generally, when you choose it to buy it, then you buy tap back and you can buy it again. You don't even need this mouse in here. Go back. It says tap on PC, but it's probably other button on console. Just tap back and you are back to the buying. Then buy one, go back, buy one, go back, buy one. No more currency. Yeah, <laughs> more currency. And now. Apart from scrapping random ammo that you can get, there is other way that's a little bit faster to get this flamer fuel. Uh, where is my crafting station? There, a little bit mess in this camp, but that's beside the point. Okay, craft. If I go to craft energy ammo, and first let's take a look on this fuel. I can get 36 fuel, and it will cost me 10 acid. 10 acid, 5 oil, that's ridiculous pricing, like acid is quite rare, it's not easy to get a lot of acid, but unlike oil and acid, look at that, 2 millimeter electromagnetic cartridge, lead and steel is very common and super easy to farm, if you watch my guide about ammo farming then you know it. Lead and steel is super easy and you can mass farm it rather fast. Then let's craft some of those 2 mil electromagnetic cartridges. Let's craft like twice, maybe three times. And let's go back into the ammo converter. Back to the ammo converter. Let's add some points. We are clicking simulator, but Bethesda promised to fix this clicking simulator and give us option to do it much faster uh, and higher amounts, then it will be fine. We just need to wait like think like two weeks and it will be fixed, something like that. Okay, add ammo points and here we go to energy ammo. Just be careful, do not scrap your flamer fuel by accident because it's, it will just give you 20 points and it cost you 100 points to buy it with 20 flamer fuel. And look at that, 70 points for 15 2 mm EC. What basically means, just a quick math, let's skip everything. And that's mean that conversion ratio from 2 mm EC to flamer fuel is about 1 to 1. It's almost 1 to 1. Then you can quickly buy it using my method with going back and buying. And another tip, if possible, do it on private server. This terminal works much faster on private server compared to adventure server. Oh, and I did it. Yeah, you shouldn't be doing that. For safety, sometimes it's worth to store the fuel. I just scrapped 20 fuel. But as you can see, 
I get over 300 ammo points and then I go back uh, buy new ammo and an energy ammo I can buy 20 for 100 points it's a little bit tedious process and yeah you need to make sure that after you choose it you you need to take your take your mouse away if you play on PC otherwise it will keep clicking on something else I mean selecting something else for you not clicking really and you just buy it and out of points yeah this is a lot of work to actually buy it this way but definitely much cheaper because and look at that, I have a flamer. And this flamer is insane. I'm not even sure if I should do video about it. I'm thinking if I should video should do video about this flamer or not, because league ACs are crazy. But I have this flamer, I had some fun with it. It's a bloody explosive reduced weight flamer. And in case of league ACs, the flamer is crazy powerful. Like regular flamers are very powerful since Wastelanders. Legacy Framer, that's game-breaking power. Then Bloody Explosive, that's a crazy weapon. And I did get this Flamer after the ban wave, then either it's legit or just a lot of Flamers slip through Bethesda ban wave and they are on the market now. Because like, not a long time ago, I was trying to get such a flamer. It was absolutely impossible to get, to buy anywhere or to get from anyone. This one I got actually for free to test. Then I am testing it and it's crazy powerful. But that's, uh, that's actually everything I wanted to show in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed because there was so many questions how to get this flamer fuel, how to farm it and the solution is just in here. Ammo converter. It's actually good for that, even though it's a clicking simulator at this moment, but after it will get fixed, it will be the easy way to mass produce flamer fuel. Of course, the best option will be to just scrap all the ammo you don't need and you pick up in the world rather than craft and scrap. But even craft two, two millimeters and scrap two millimeters is better than crafting fuel. Then that's it. Here you go, guys. Thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.